Hello. I'm going to actually show you how to make a vegetarian spinach lasagna soup. You can make it uh, with ground beef if you like, but I use a plant-based ground um, meat, so it just makes it quicker and easier. And instead of vegetable stock, you can use um, beef. But I am using veg vegetable stock because I want it to be vegan. I'm not vegan, vegetarian, I'm sorry. And I'll show you what you need to make it. You're going to need olive oil, about a tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to be, and these aren't in order, I'm sorry, I apologize. We're going to need a whole jar of marinara sauce, any brand, about 24, 25 ounces. You're going to need vegetable stock. Um, like I said, if you wanted to use ground beef, you can use the beef stock if you prefer. Uh, ground beef, but I'm doing vegetarian, so I'm going to use um, a plant-based ground um, meat. It's already browned and everything, so I really don't have to do too much to it. Just toss it in, which makes it very quick and easy. Um, some cut leaf spinach. I just get a frozen one-pound bag. Pop that in. You can use any brand you like. I a whole a teaspoon of um, oregano, any brand, and a teaspoon of um, fennel, again any brand. Garlic cloves chopped. I prefer to get the garlic already chopped. Um, use a lot of it so I get the big jar of it but you can buy it already chopped it just saves the step and it makes it a lot easier and quick and let's see I think last but not least I need a chopped onion which I've already chopped up in this and I think that's it that we need for that oh and um, lasagna noodles I need about five lasagna noodles just broken up or you can use campanelli noodles that's easier. I just happen to have lasagna noodles, so I'm going to use those. Let me just move this and we can get going. Okay, we're first going to start with the crock pot. It takes about three hours, but it's really very good. I use the cooking bags so there's less cleanup. It's in there very nicely. Okay, that way I don't have to clean up. Okay, then um, I'd like to put a teaspoon of oil in. Just a teaspoon. It's about a teaspoon. to put the onion in. Let me just get some gloves because I don't like to touch the raw onion. My hands smell forever.
Okay. And we just want to pop this in. Just take the top off. anymore. Okay. And then you may say you want to just stop putting everything in there. Okay. So now I'm going to get the uh, garlic in there. It needs about, let's see how much garlic. Remember, four garlic cloves minced. measuring spoon because the minced garlic it should tell me what is what here mm, I don't see it used to tell me how much one garlic clove would be it's oh yeah here we go Quarter of a teaspoon, oh, half a teaspoon is approximately one clove of garlic. So, it'll be two teaspoons of garlic. So, let me get that. Oops, sorry. very easy. I didn't have to brown it or cook it or anything. It's all done. Close that up. 
Then I want to um, put the fennel and oregano in. About a teaspoon. I'm going to crush it in your fingers first to let all that. fennel and then the oregano there we go again you want to just crush it in your fingers so that it gets some releases the oils just you can also use just Italian seasoning if you don't want to do the fennel and the oregano. Okay. Then you want to put in your, let's see, did I put everything else in? Yep, I want to put my marinara sauce in. my vegetable stock I want to pour it initially shake sorry just shake it a little bit and I want to pour it into this container back on tight shake we get a lot of all the sauce out there's a little tiny bit left I'm gonna just keep doing that until I think it's clean this whole box is going in anyway so that's pretty clean then I can put the rest of the vegetable stock in but like I said if you're using ground beef you can use the beef stock And then we can add the spinach. And I put the whole bag in. lasagna noodles. One, two, three, four, five. But like I said, you can use Campanelli pasta. It has the little edges like this too, so it's whatever's easier for you. I just happened to have these and it was cheaper for me not to have to go buy something else. So I'm going to break these up. Just, just into little pieces. Then 
really sharp, so please be careful. if the sound is too strong. I should have got the Campanelli just for this video. So sorry. all you have to do. Now we want to put the uh, cover back on. Plug it in. And set it for three hours. We want to put it on high, there we go, for three hours. Set it for three. And that's it. And it's ready to go. You wait for the three hours. It should be perfectly done. If you want to add um, mozzarella cheese to it on top, it's really good. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see if I can get a picture of it when it's all done so you can actually see what it looks like. I'll see you back in a little bit. Thanks. Okay, it's, it's been three hours. To show you what it looks like. and cooked. It's very hearty. Just place this in a bowl with some cheese. Thanks for watching. <laughs>